All right, so this is the uh, the final part of putting the castle together. We're gonna assemble the castle. So <coughs> um, going to go to File, New, Assembly. And then I'm gonna go to Place, and I wanna find my castle folder and then here I have castle turret castle wall project which is the wall and then the castle turret there so <clears throat> I'm gonna bring in the walls first so actually you know what might be easier let me do this I'm gonna click open I'm just gonna bring in one wall <coughs> So we want to connect these first. So I'm going to try and put this over here. So zoom out a little here. And so I'm going to constrain. And I'm using this, the, the mate solution first. Um, and this is with the type, which is mate. <clears throat> and the first thing I want to do is I want to mate this inside wall right here the face of it to the back face of the um, the turret so on the back of that just like that and hit apply because that looks good to me for right now um, notice how it doesn't line up at the bottom so when things don't line up remember to use flush so I'm going to flush the bottom of the wall with the bottom of the turret. Hit apply. And then you're going to notice, possibly, even though it looks right to you, in some cases, there's a gap there, which should not be the case because we measured this all <coughs> correctly. Um, so one thing that we can do is, I'm trying to think of the best way, we can, um, I wonder if you can, I don't think you can flush to that, but we could do an edge to an edge, so maybe an edge here to an edge there. And click apply. That's starting to look good. So I look around, it looks like it's in there. I'm gonna click cancel and see if this falls apart. So moving up and down, no. That's pretty dang good. So that one, see how it's all measured correctly, we can see. So we got that part there. <clears throat> Perfect. Um, Okay, so let's do, we'll bring in a, another turret, and we need to constrain similarly, so the back face of this, and if you see me rotating, again, I'm using shift, holding down shift in the scroll button on my mouse, so I'm going to click on the back. And then the side of this one here, that little noise, click apply, flush the bottoms here, so, ooh, made a mistake, you'll see, see how that's, this is turned that way, and then that one's turned the other way, so it won't, it's not going to create a, a closed loop, basically, or in this case, we're creating a square, so, <clears throat> I'm going to hit cancel, and that's turret number two and I want to get rid of that mate, so I right click and hit delete. <clears throat> so actually I want this one to be there so that this other side is facing the same way as that one, so constrain. Boom. Apply. Yes, now we got it. Cool. Alright, let's flush the bottom. 
So remember, in lining up, we want to use flush, lining it up, apply, and then just do one of the edges. So um, just using mate, we can mate that edge to that edge. It'll move it over, and it'll stick there. Close that, just double check. What do I got? Home. It's all stuck together. And <clears throat> all right. So now if you can see, like, we're going to put walls here and there. So let's do that. We can not hit constraint, but hit place. Bring in a wall. Bring in another wall. Escape. Constraint. So I'll take this one and we'll attach it to this one here. Apply. <clears throat> And again, we are going to flush it. So flushing this and mating an edge to an edge. Apply. Um, and let's do the other wall. So this one, just kind of rotate. So we're in mate, mating to it's kind of hard to see there, right there. Apply. So we're going to flush to the bottom. <clears throat> and finally, some edge, which this one went in real nice. So what I can actually do if it did, if it did that is I just, I can move it. See how it still moves so I can constrain it using mate to there and hit apply cancel. So. <clears throat> okay, starting to get there. Let's bring in a turret. I keep hitting constraint. Place. Turret. Open. So be careful of how these are facing. So we want that one there and then this side facing towards this way because it's got to meet up with the wall, right? So we're going to constrain here to there and then notice how that one's facing out the way that I want it I hit apply um, and then <clears throat> flushing it again perfect this one again looks like it went in to where it looks like it's fine well you can see a small gap there I can deal with that um, meaning that I can see it so I can made it Otherwise, I'd have to move it like I did with that other one. <clears throat> Home. Okay, so we're dealing with this one. Let's double check anything falling apart. Grab a turret, make sure nothing's falling apart. Okay. Let's put our last wall in there. Escape. <clears throat> Constrain. Mate. Mate. If for some reason when you made it like that and it turns upside down, that never happened for me in this process, but if this turns upside down, all you have to do is make sure that you flush the bottom with the bottom, it'll turn itself back um, in the right direction. So uh, apply again, and then I think I can see a gap there. You know, there's a big one. So making sure it's fine. Ugh. So I didn't want that, so I hit cancel and uh, made again. So edge to edge. Okay, <clears throat> got one more to do here. So place turret, escape, and we're gonna constrain uh, these two need to be faced towards the inside, so actually I need to like visually think about this. This one is going to, so it gets a little tricky, that one goes to that one. And cool, I like that that happened because I'll show you how to fix it. Just make sure you flush the bottom with the bottom. So notice how it 
turned itself right back to where it needed to be. And we can mate an edge here to an edge. Apply, cancel. So you might think that you need to constrain this other side right here, but in reality, if I mean, if it's all constrained together, then that one's, it's not gonna go anywhere because it's already constrained to that one. And this wall is constrained to that one. So it's, everything's stuck together. So you're fine. Um, I would hit home just to take a look what you have right now. And uh, that looks like a pretty sweet castle. So I would hit save. Um, and that one's definitely going on your website. Ooh, I made a mistake. I did not save from the beginning, which is a problem, but that's okay. Um, I will call this my castle assembly and hit save. Uh, if you finish early, make sure that you're building out your website. So this castle, um, you have two parts. So you have the wall and then you have the, uh, um, you have the turrets. Those should be separate images. This whole assembly should be a separate image, and then you have your text that goes along with that. So building it into your Weebly website. It is possible to, to change, I believe, specific colors of turrets. So like, let's say you want that one to be like, hmm, weird looking. And uh, we got, uh, let's do that one, it's like a purple. And then we got that one, which is, Like a blue, right? Is that one being worn? It's like a like a red, no, green, yellow, blue. I don't know. So you can uh you can mess around with that if you want, but um, I think it looks rad now. All right, I'm going to save that. Cool. So, done with that. Make sure it gets on your website, okay?